You're a superhero Yo, how's it going guys? Today I'm gonna be buffing the dual water pistols insanely by having crazy speed boosts using the zombie armors. Without further ado, let's get right into the video. Okay, so for the head, I'm gonna be using the auto jump cap. It says provide 7% damage increase with shotguns and handguns. Obviously, we're using handguns, we'll get a 7% damage increase. For body, I'm gonna be using the zombie biker vest. Reduces damage by 20% but decreases headshot damage received by 50%. So basically what that does is you get 20% less damage. So basically it gives you 20% arm uh, damage decrease. So when someone shoots you, you get a 20% damage decrease by his shots. But you get a 50% damage increase when someone shoots you on the head. So basically the guy has a 50% buff on the headshots on you. Which people rarely get headshots so it's not that big of a deal. So basically it's too broken that armor. And also for pants, I'm going to be using the zombie recruit pants at full health you get a 15% speed increase That's basically the whole video right here. You get 50% speed increase at full health and it also gives you 7 agility All those armor pieces give you 7 agility. So you basically get 21 agility Plus the 50% increase in speed from the zombie recruit pants. So overall with this setup what you get is 7% damage increase to handguns 20% reduction to damage and 21% agility plus 15% speed increase at full health, which is basically too broken. So we're going to go ahead in missions and test it out. And we're going to be doing a side by side comparison with the zombie recruit pants and without the zombie recruit pants. So we see how fast actually you go. Okay, so as you can see, I'm going really, really fast with the zombie recruit pants. It's basically insane speed boost right here. It's basically like, no, it's so fast. I don't know how, how to explain. You're so fast and you do 7% damage, 20% damage reduction. They're just broken. You go just go straight on them with those weapons. It's so fast. It buffs those weapons so much, this armor. This armor buffs any weapons, but buffs especially these weapons because they already have good agility by themselves. Plus you get 21 agility, plus you get a 50% speed increase. So it's basically too broken. And now I put them side by side. And as you can see, without the zombie recoupments, you're way, way slow. You still get 14% agility. And also the weapons have high agility. You still are fast, but without a 7% plus 15%, agility of the zombie recruit pants this setup is basically not that fast okay so now i'm gonna head to team vs to test this out in multiplayer i'm expecting very good results because these weapons are absolutely broken by themselves and with all the buffs they're just stupidly broken again also i wanted to mention the fact that all this is free to play nothing pay to win there's now no pay to win armor in here everything is free to play in this that's the best part you don't need to pay any money to have this broken setup and that's very good because the game was always pay to win but now they're changing it to free to play a lot with a new zombie currency so basically the only thing that's paid is the the head which gives seven percent damage increase which isn't even that important if you don't have the head you can use a zombie biker head which heals you a little when you kill an enemy which also is pretty good which you basically get by zombie knights and zombie knights you get by playing horse mode i explained this in many videos and basically free so that's really good all this armor you get by zombie knights and the weapons were free in the event to get at the last prize or you could buy them with 300 gold at that time in event i don't know if you can still buy them with 300 gold because i already have them but basically this is the most broken setup and it's free to play that's the best part responders is making a huge change by adding those new zombie weapons and also adding those new broken armors for free basically if you just grind zombie knights so yeah that's a big step for responders I'm just gonna leave it here guys, I'm gonna fast forward it, I'm gonna end the game and I'll see you at the end statistics. Okay, so the match finished right now, guys, and we got 21 kills and 4 deaths, which is basically really, really good. It was in a decent lobby, it wasn't a pro lobby, but I couldn't find a pro lobby again, because when I record those videos, I record them at night, and there are not that many pro lobbies on, there are not that many tryhards on. But it was still a decent lobby, and we did really well in it, we got 10 kills in a row with them, proving that this whole setup with the dual pistol is just absolutely broken. Anyways guys, that was it for this video, be sure to subscribe and like this video, share it so everyone sees this OP free to play strategy, catch you guys in the next video, peace.